A narrow strip of land extending into Lake Garda for over one mile. It has been a holiday destination for more than 2,000 years. It has respectfully earned the title of Pearl of Lake Garda for the stunning panoramas it gives to its visitors and for the peace you can find here. Welcome to Sirmione. The castle of Sirmione is surrounded by the waters of Lake Garda. Just right after its construction, on one side of the castle the dockyard was built to dock the ships of the Scaliger fleet. The dockyard was monitored by the impressive Mastio, the main tower of the castle, a 155 feet high tower in which the cells were destined to the prisoners. From the large internal portico you climb a stairway of 146 steps and reach the patrol walkway, where you can admire the surrounding landscape and also the dock. The dock, as you can see, is surrounded by towers that have some spear-shaped crenellations, in contrast with the crenellations of the inner towers, which are swallow-tailed, which is a characteristic of the Scaliger constructions. This because they were built at different times. The last wooden staircase leads to the top of the main tower, the highest tower in the whole castle. Come with me! I'm on the highest tower of the castle of Sirmione, and from here the view is astonishing. On the southern area of Lake Garda and on the historic center of Sirmione, which we are now going to explore. The old town of Sirmione preserves a medieval structure, with tight and irregular roads and beautiful squares, today filled with tourists from all over the world, who dedicate to relaxing strolls, a cocktail, a restaurant, or shopping in many shops, or an ice cream in one of the many ice cream parlors of Sirmione. And there is something for everyone, literally for everyone. The entire old town is a restricted traffic zone, a paradise for pedestrians. To get in with a car you need to get a special authorization, which is issued only to residents or to customers and hotel suppliers. From the center of Sirmione you can board to discover the promontory, famous for the beautiful panoramic views and for the Grotte di Catullo, the remains of a large Roman villa dated back to 2000 years ago, 
which is the most important example of Roman villa in northern Italy. Named after the Grotte di Catullo, here we have the Catullo Thermal Baths, a historical thermal resort in Sirmione opened over 120 years ago. Thermal waters gush off the Sirmione Peninsula, but the waters are collected very far from here, in the area of Mount Baldo, where they seep in and fall to a depth of over 6,500 feet below sea level. Here they reach a temperature of 69 Celsius degrees and increase with minerals and those therapeutic properties that have made them famous and have made the area of Sirmione famous as a thermal resort. Thermal waters take more than 20 years to get here from Mount Baldo. Most of the beaches in Sirmione are located outside the old town, just like the beach of Punta Gro, the beach of Lugana or the one of Prema. On the edge of the promontory of Sirmione there is the beautiful and suggestive Jamaica beach, with spectacular rock tiles that make the color of water even more clear. With a luxuriant vegetation around you, you will feel like being in an exotic beach paradise. I am at the Lido delle Bionde, a very nice and equipped public beach. Here you can rent beach umbrellas, sunbeds, there's a bar, a restaurant and everything you might need. A very nice place. It's really easy to come here because it's really close to the center of Sirmione. The same thing with the Jamaica beach. Both beaches, however, are very crowded, so if you're looking for a quieter place you should go a few miles outside the city center, to Punta Gro beach or to Lugana beach. Italian travel. Follow me.